Big League McChesney. Tonight, I'm gonna chew you up and spit you out. <laughs> Clean yourself up, Justin. Thanks. Dalton Castle with a slide of his own. That's running with the head games already, which he's become known for throughout his career here in the IWC. And now we got a chant going. It's one of those uh, negative McChesney signs. Of course, Fab, an abbreviation for Fabulous, McChesney's former name before he became, in his own mind, Big League. That's it. The slots have gone up fast. We want to get in. You got to make it two. And there will be go soon. there will be three more invitations sent out. Check out the eruption as McChesney gets serious. Loading on the party peacock. Cradle for two. So, this is the end of the qualifying matchup we're going to see. Uh, at least so we uh, assume, unless there's someone has an injury or has to back out for other unforeseen circumstances. This may happen, so what you're saying, Joe, is this is it. One of these men's getting in, the other one's done, no more chances. So it's do or die right here tonight. Oh, absolutely. And much like we saw with some of the other guys who haven't qualified, uh, uh, Aaron Draven, Aiden Vale, great, great athletes. Uh, can't take anything away from us. Oh, and McChesney. You can, you can wrestle a lot of matches, but you can't wrestle a lot of guys like John McChesney. And McChesney soars with a suicide dive. Big League showing that agility as well. Oh. Watch Dalton elevate himself and down with a DET. You can see McChesney's head bounce. Side switch to go behind. Dalton, springboard, beautifully done. McChesney a step ahead. He's been back and forth, counter after counter. Matchup really opening up. Look at the strength! Midair with a bridge. Down air fall. It looked like Dalton had his first Super 80 birth. He wants a chair, but uh, that's not a wise move. You're gonna get this qualified, pal. He's gotta go to one of his fans. Whoa, look at the ring! Wait a minute! Is that the, is that the masked man? That, it was a masked man. Joe, I almost missed it because I was watching McChesney on the I, outside. Well, no, wait, he had a pipe. We've seen him with a pipe of some sort before. We just... No! Not this way! Why did he get involved now? John yes! yes! McChesney. Here is your winner. And advancing to Super Indy 11. Get him! Get him! Somebody get him! Somebody get that mask off! And that doesn't... That doesn't fit the M.O. First two victims were founding fathers. We got a founding father in the ring. But Dalton Castle got laid out. Helping Big League John McChesney. So as you can see, the masked man getting involved once again in the IWC matches. But this time, rather than attacking one of the Founding Fathers, he helped them, and Big League John McChesney is now qualified for the Super Indy 11 tournament. Now, speaking of the masked man and all the impacts he's been having around the IWC locker room, we know that at Combat in Clearfield 3 last week, he attacked Super Hentai, injuring him, and causing Hentai to miss Road to Super Indy 11. Now, that may have had something to do with the fact that Mickey Gambino was also not in attendance at the Road to Super Indy 11, leaving his tag team partner and brother Marshall Gambino alone in his fight for the tag team titles against the One-Nighters. But Chuck Roberts wasn't going to let it be a handicap match. He added a little twist. He said that Marshall Gambino would team with rival Jimmy Vegas to face the One-Nighters. And here's the catch. If Marshall got the pin, the Gambinos would be the tag champs. But if Vegas got the pin, the Founding Fathers would get the straps. In the end, it didn't matter because the two men couldn't get along and the One-Nighters retained the titles once again. I was able to catch up with the One-Nighters following their victory. Let's take a look at what they had to say. Ladies and gentlemen, Justin Plummer here with IWC Aftershock, and I'm in the locker room with the One-Nighters, the IWC Tag Team Champions. Gentlemen, tonight you retained your titles against the odd tag team of Marshall Gambino and Jimmy Vegas. But we also crown new number one contenders, the Blue Collar Slaughterhouse, and they're gonna get a shot at those belts at Mountain State Madness too. Woo! We Justin Blur in the Blue Collar Slaughterhouse. Mountain State Madness, New Well West for it's a one horse piece of crap town. 
We're stepping in the ring against a one-horse piece of crap team. We beat them once. We beat them twice. Just because they have a third guy doesn't mean they have any better a shot of taking these IWC tag team titles from us. You know what? That's right, Nikki. We just beat the two best tag teams. At the same time. That IWC has besides us. I mean, we beat them. We beat both. We beat them both. both. We beat the Founding Fathers and the Gambino Brothers. We beat four guys. I mean, technically, I mean, we beat the the, whatever, but we beat both teams. We beat them both. And the Blue Collar Slaughterhouse thinks they have a chance. Those redneck hillbillies think they have a chance against the One Nighters, the best tag team that IWC has ever seen. Blue Collar Slaughterhouse. They're in for a rude awakening. So I want you, Blue Collar Slaughterhouse, all three of you, get real close to your computer screen, to your television, to your Apple TV, whatever it is that you watch, and zoom in real close. Go ahead, zoom in real close. Because that's the closest you're going to get to these IWC Tag Team titles. And that, my friend, is a wrap. Ladies and gentlemen, the One Night is your IWC Tag Team Champions. Now let's not stray too far from the masked man controversy, because at Road to Super Indy 11 we were looking for answers regarding the situation, and it's answers we got. Because live on the big screen backstage, for all of the fans to see, we found out that all along, it was Jimmy DeMarco's ploy to keep the attention off of himself and Chess Flexor. And not only that, Jimmy had been working up a secret alliance that was sure to rock the foundation of the IWC. Let's take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, Justin Plummer here with IWC World Heavyweight Champion, Delicious Jimmy DeMarco. Now, Jimmy, earlier tonight, Norm Connors stated that he was going to dedicate every fiber of his being to ruining you, and it was going to start here tonight. Well, it hasn't happened yet. Your title match versus the heavy metal Jesus Logan Chulo is up next. What do you have to say about Norm Connors' threats? Well, Justin, all I have to say is... Um, Johnny Gap. Go. First off, you ever put your hands on me again, you or you. DeMarco, I'm not just gonna fire you, I'm gonna have you arrested. And DeMarco, don't forget I know you rather well. I know if you go to jail probably one more time, it's probably gonna be for a long time, DeMarco. Flexor? Title match, you out. Go, bar, bye, go. Look at me. Where's McChesney? Where's McChesney? Yeah. You know what, Jimmy and everybody out there? We were just played by fools now for what, a month and a half? We're just totally played by fools. You know, I walked away from the Castle McChesney match. I came to the back and I said to myself, what in the world would there be a masked man involved in that match? And you know what, Jimmy? It hit me. It hit me like a ton of bricks. And I saw it, but I just couldn't tell. You know, Jim, you played everybody in this company and you tried to play me. And the biggest thing and your biggest mistake is the fact that I know you well. Shoot these people straight, Jimmy DeMarco. When I went up and down and I was an announcer, I traveled with you. Hell, we lived 10 minutes from each other. Everybody knew it. It was cool. We were friends. So therefore, I know you very well. And what did you say not too long ago in a promo? You said the best trick the devil ever played was to convince the world that he didn't exist. So it makes total sense, doesn't it, Jimmy? Founding fathers, the guys that chased you for a year and a half, Vegas gets a concussion, hentai's out, and you have the audacity to have in that brain of yours, you put it on your own cousins, the Gambinos. So while I and everybody else are looking to the right, there's you, Jimmy, on the left. And I guess you did McChesney a favor, didn't you? You did him a favor. There's going to be no mass man, is there, Jimmy? Because it's all a big in your imagination. Hey, everybody, if you think there's going to be a big unveiling for a mass guy, there's no more mass guy. You're not going to see it, and you know it. And the reason you know it is because your plan was just foiled. Well, Jimmy, I'm not going to let it happen again. Evil Chuck! I'm crazy. You're crazy. But you know what I have to say? You, you, I mean, you just thought that up yourself? 
You really thought that whole conspiracy theory up yourself? Well, I gotta say, you're a lot smarter than you look, because you're right. You're actually, I mean, really right. Wow. Why ain't no mask band here, Robert? Why would I wear a mask and hide my hot face, you idiot? Hey, somebody get over here and hold this, alright? I'm gonna kill him. Hey, 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 Norm, you think you're so smart? Not so smart, I'm the smartest. Get over here, plumber. So now we have two of the most heated rivals in IWC history joining forces to take on all comers. But as I mentioned in that last segment, Norm Connors made his return to the IWC at Road to Super Indy 11, and he vowed to dedicate every ounce of his being to ruining Jimmy DeMarco. And in the end, that's exactly what he did, because you see, it was Logan Shulo going after Jimmy DeMarco head-to-head -head for the IWC World Heavyweight title in the night's main event. Jimmy DeMarco intentionally took out the referee, but when he turned around, Logan Shulo was able to hit the electric chair and make the cover. With no referee conscious or in sight, Norm Connors rushed the ring, ripped off his shirt, and revealed that he had a referee shirt of his own. He got down, he made the one, two, three, the bell rang, and Chuck Roberts made his way to the ring to award the title to your new world heavyweight champion, the heavy metal Jesus, Logan Shulo. It was truly an amazing moment. The fans were going wild. I had chills down my spine. It was awesome. But I was able to catch up with Big League John McChesney and Jimmy DeMarco following that match. Big League had a few words for his opponent Dalton Castle from earlier in the night. But then they were quick to discount Logan Shulo's win and dispute the results of the match. Let's take a look. I'm here. Come on, it's all right. With Big League John McChesney That's and right, you're here with Jimmy me. DeMarco. Big League, first I gotta ask, your victory over Dalton Castle, you had a masked man interfere on your behalf. Hey, 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 don't ask me how I do things. Dalton Castle's out here joking around, putting you in a bed, putting you in a box. I'm about getting titles. I was the champ for a long time. I was the Super Indy champion five times. Nobody else has done this. You see these trophies here? We've been here before. I'm about excellence. This man down here is about excellence. He got screwed tonight, okay? He got screwed. Hey, it's all right. Listen, I've been in the same situation you are. You and I are a team that nobody can mess with. Come on. And folks, you see hey, it right there. Yeah, see what? This huh? new alliance huh? that you have, you, you join uh, forces with your, uh, your yeah, rival. Yeah. I'm just saying, can you, the fans want to know what's going on. Can you just explain this? Can you explain what's behind all of this? Some domination, Justin Plummer. You don't see it. I see it. I know you see it. Get over it, man. You'll get it back. Logan Shulo ain't nothing compared hey. to you, Jimmy DeMarco. Norm isn't a real official. You're not a real official. The real official disqualified me because I kicked his ass. Norm, you're not real. Chuck, you're not real. That was the most bogus hey. act ever committed in IWC. I'm getting a lawyer. He knows a lawer. <laughs> yeah, know he knows a big lawyers. lawyers. Right, folks, lawyer. stay tuned either on this episode of Aftershock or later on in the month on IWC Wrestling on Tom. We're going to get some answers on the title yeah. situation. Okay. Stay tuned. Come it's going to be big. It better be, and it will be. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Justin Plummer here with what appears to be your new IWC World Heavyweight Champion, Heavy Metal Jesus, Logan Chulo. And Logan, on behalf of IWC Aftershock, I'm going to be the first to congratulate you on your big victory tonight. Justin, thank you so much. Thank you for having me on Aftershock. Let me tell you, it feels real good right now. The past couple years, every time I go out there, every show, I try to give everything I got. And it feels like it all came together tonight. Feels real good. And it all paid off. You have that title over your shoulder now. I hate to rain on your parade. I hate to bring the mood down because I can tell you're excited. But I caught up with Jimmy DeMarco earlier in tonight's episode. And he's actually calling in to question the results of that match. He said that Norm Connors is not an official referee. He's disputing the results. What do you have to say to defend yourself to DeMarco's claims? Calling into question. Let me tell you, when I went out there, John McChesney was at ringside. Thanks to a little help from Dalton Castle, he got out there real quick. So against all the odds, I still came out on top. I had Jimmy's shoulders down, the crowd saw it, and Norm Connors, with the referee shirt on, also saw it, and he made the count. I'm the champ, as far as I'm concerned, 
It's staying right here. Well, at least for the time being, you have the belt. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to let you know to tune into IWCWrestling.com later on this week, later on this month, to find a definitive ruling on the controversy from the night. But for now, it appears, here is your new IWC Heavyweight Champion, the heavy, heavy Metal Jesus, Logan Shulo. So we have two sides of the story here, where Jimmy DeMarco feels he's been cheated. Logan Shulo says it is clear to all of the fans that DeMarco's shoulders were down for the one, two, three. That left a lot of controversy, a lot of unanswered questions, so I sought out some answers for you, the fans of IWC Aftershock. I was able to catch up with Chuck Roberts, who was healing from his injury, to try to get a definitive answer on the situation. That's not quite what I got, but let's go and take a look at what Chuck Roberts had to say about the IWC heavyweight title controversy. Ladies and gentlemen, Justin Plumber with IWC Aftershock catching up with Chuck Roberts. Now, Chuck, we had a big event at the end of tonight, a little bit of controversy. Logan Shulo appeared to have won the IWC heavyweight title, but the talk in the locker room is, does it count? Norm Connors made the three count. It was clear the shoulders were down, but is any official? Whoa, 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 whoa. Does it count? Well, let me ask you something. Am I the owner of this company? Yes. And in pure talent, did Jimmy DeMarco lay me out with a chair? He did. Uh, did that happen, right? He did, yeah. And yes. uh, during the night here um, at the Road to Super Indy, did John McChesney show his, well, the colors he's always had, I guess, and did I get super kicked yeah. right in the jaw? Mm -hmm. So do you think I have any sympathy? For Jimmy DeMarco, you know, I'm trying to run a company here. And, you know, the fact of the matter is, you know, my goal never here, my goal here was to never make Chuck Roberts some type of a, of a character. I just try to make sure that what is told in the ring is a story that our fans enjoy and love. Now, the fact that Norm Connors got in the ring and he made the three pin, look, uh, here's the thing. Logan Shulo's got the belt. And I guess DeMarco, and everybody's people have already walked up to me and said, oh, DeMarco's going to get a lawyer, and DeMarco's going to sue, and, and I expect that, okay? I expect that out of you, Jimmy DeMarco. They're, 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 you know, I wouldn't even think twice if I get a letter that says you're suing me. You know, but I'm not worried right now about the fact that, you know, you don't think that Logan Shulo's a champion, because the fact of the matter is he's got the belt, and I raised his hand, and, and then we'll just have to see what happens from there, Justin. We'll just have to see what happens. That's it. Thanks, Justin. Now stay tuned to IWCWrestling.com in the coming weeks for all the latest news and updates regarding that World Heavyweight title controversy. Now Super Indy 11 was jam-packed full of a lot more than what we just covered here today. But to see it, you're going to have to head on over to IWCWrestling.com's merchandise section and pick up the DVD from Sorgatron Media. It was truly one of our biggest and best events so far in 2012, so you'll be doing yourself a favor. We had more qualifiers for the Super Indy Tournament, and we even had the first encounter between the breakup of Flippin' Ain't Easy, Michael the Bomber Facade, and the new and twisted Gory. And that's not all, folks. we got a lot of events coming up here. Don't forget May 20th, IWC heads back to West Virginia for Mountain State Madness 2. Then on June 23rd, it's the granddaddy of them all. It's Super Indy 11 at Court Time Sports Center in Elizabeth, PA. Check it out. You know what? We may even have a few surprises between now and then. You're just going to have to check out our website, follow us on Facebook, or follow us on Twitter for all your latest and greatest news on everything IWC. Until then, we are unfortunately all out of time. And as always, if you're still with us, you just survived the aftershock. <laughs>